Hey everyone, welcome to another video on Orconfig. We're going to do a short series of videos on Orconfig v6 core. We're going to start with a video on the installation of Orconfig v6 core. Um, Orconfig v6 core is our free version of Orconfig. It's available on GitHub, github.com slash Orconfig. And today I'm going to run through the installation process and get you guys familiarized with how to install, what the various bits of the installation do, and get you set up for success to get you up and running with Orconfig v6 core as quickly as possible. Okay, so when you log into the github.com slash Orconfig page, you'll be presented with, let me just bring this up here, with the installation instructions and all of the information you need to know on how to set up Orconfig v6 core. Okay. So what we're going to do today is run through these steps um, in sequence and just see the experience that, that you should expect when you, when you install Orconfig v6 core. So the first thing to do is get an operating system up and ready. Right? So our recommendation is uh, a vanilla, uh, one of the oper supported operating systems. You can see them listed here. Uh, Docker is coming uh, as of today, which is the middle of September, the 8th of September 23. Docker's not ready, but we're only a couple of weeks away from that. So uh, the team is working on that in the background. So Rocky, Red Hat, Enterprise Linux, CentOS, or Ubuntu. As I said, just get a, a vanilla-based uh, image of that set up for yourself. And then run through the installation scripts, which we have provided for you on orconfig.com. So without further ado, let's give it a go. So I've set up a very simple... Rocky 9 image on Linode. I like using Linode. It gets uh, gets us uh, test VMs really quick um, in any flavor that we uh, need. So I've got an SSH here. I'm going to SSH into this VM, do a couple of quick checks, and let's see what it looks like. Log in with my password, simple as. And I'm just going to look at the OS version here. So if I do a cache slash Etsy slash OS release, and we've got uh, Rocky, uh, Bluonix 9.2, that's perfect. Okay, let's clear this. So as I said, we provide operating system setup scripts for you, right? So let's go down to this link here, open the Orconfig docs, and uh, this applies to Orconfig v6 core and Orconfig v6 professional. And the setup scripts, like you can do these, these manually, you can set up your operating system manually. We provide these as a convenience because there's a lot of dependencies before to install before you set up or config v6 and so uh, the scripts are here so we've got CentOS, Rocky, RHEL, um, 8 scripts and the same version 9 right subtle differences between them so so we have different sets of scripts there's RHEL scripts here there's Ubuntu scripts there and that this docker installation specifically is for uh, v6 professional okay so the scripts we're going to use is this one Okay, so I'm going to copy these scripts. I'm going to bring up um, uh, the SSH session to our new, brand new vanilla server out of the box, and I'm just going to paste it in. Okay, so what it does is it downloads the setup script, uh, and s installs it in the home directory, and then actually runs that script. So the first time you run this script, um, we require a reboot because it does disable SE Linux. Now, if your organization, if you have a policy that you require SE Linux, we don't provide SE Linux policies, right? That's why we disable it. So you will need to set up, uh, re-enable and set up SE Linux for yourself afterwards if you use these scripts. Now, the script automatically reboots uh, the operating system and that's, as I said, for disabling SE Linux and to bring it back up without SE Linux, and that's fine. And then when, when we go back in, we'll SSH back in, uh, you will run it the exact same script again. Okay, just pause for a second while I got logged in. <clears throat> so as I said, back to our documentation. And we're going to copy this script again. And we're just going to paste it in. And now we're going to watch some magic happen. So I'll talk you through some of this um, while it's running. So 
very simply it updates the operating system first it's like uh, it's like windows patching or something right so it just updates the latest versions of all of the operating system packages and different things and depending on your operating system whether it's a, a newer version an older release whatever it is you're using this could take quite a few minutes okay so uh, we have 120 packages here and right after this in the script then it starts in installing the important dependent software for our config which is like Apache and MySQL and, and different things. All right, so uh, pause the video there just because there was that many packages to install. So all of the updates are done. So right now it's gonna go ahead and uh, install the rest of the, the kind of really important packages. So Redis is getting installed. Uh, it's gonna install PHP, it's gonna install Apache and, and then finally do some checks and, and install MySQL. So there's supervisor. We'll do videos on all of these things, right, if you want to know the detail of them. But now it's doing the LAMP installation, so that's Laravel, Apache, MySQL, and PHP. That's perfect. And it's installing MariaDB server. So we use MariaDB, not MySQL, but they're, they're essentially the same thing for simplicity's sake. And once this is done, as you can see, it's all really quick. It will depend on the speed of your internet connection and, and so on, but you can see PHP 8.2 got installed, so that's perfect, right up to date on PHP. That's where you want to be. Uh, just as a quick side note, our software development practice means all of our dependent packages are right up to date. PHP 8.2, Laravel 10.15, as of today, um, all of our uh, front-end asset building tools, for those that are interested, are all kept up to date all of the time. So it's installing Composer and Laravel Envoy uh, for our build and installation scripts. And we can see all of our versions there. Apache 2.4.53, that's up to date. MySQL 10.5, that's a few revs behind. Or sorry, Maria 10.5, that's a few revs behind. We're comfortable with this version. Redis 6, uh, Supervisor 4. And so this is the final step, okay? And so we're, this is the MySQL secure installation wizard and we're asked a few questions, right? This is where you need to have your database uh, password uh, handy, okay? So do we want to change the root password? Yes, we do want to change the root password. What's the new password? Enter a new password, and I am going with the ubiquitously secure password. It's just for demo purposes, guys. Please use a secure password. Uh, do we wish to remove anonymous users? Yes, we do. Do we disallow uh, login remotely? Yes, and enter is fine, right? Because the default is white. Uh, remove test database access to it. Enter, yes. Reload privileges table now. Enter, yes. Perfect. We are done. That's the operating system set up and ready to go. Okay, so just took a quick pause there. So we got the operating system set up and ready to go. So now we're going to install our config v6 core. So I'm going to do a side by side on the uh, documentation and the SSH session so we can see. So I'm going to go back here to uh, our, uh, our config GitHub page. And so first thing we need to do is set up, so we have the operating system done, tick, okay. The next thing we're going to do is set up our database, right? So we need a database set up. So copy into MySQL, log into MySQL using your password. I think I just entered, yeah, okay, perfect. And create a database called our config. Now, you can call this anything you like. You can also do this on your, if you have a central database cluster or something, you can you can point it or config to uh, that database cluster, um, which may not be on the local host, if you wish. Uh, I'll show you how to configure that shortly. Create a user. Okay, you can say I'm using kind of generic user and password credentials here, but please create secure ones. Give... Um, that user privileges on the or config database and clear the privileges uh, table uh, exit out of the database and that's the database set up right that's maria db set up and ready to go and um, we're going to skip the install node and npm scripts because uh, we've updated our process to make this easier for you guys so there's no need to install npm uh, at the time of writing this is still in the readme but it will come out um, so we'll go ahead to the R config setup steps. So we'll cd into var www.html and we're going to clone the GitHub uh, R config core uh, repository. Uh, change to the repository directory. And this is an important, well, they're all important steps, but 
like this one, we're going to copy an environment variable file. So this is the file which uh, holds the, credential, the database credentials for your server, right? So what we need to do here then is vim or nano or whatever text editor you want for that .env file. And we're going to change some settings. We're going to change the db local host, db host to local host. Again, if your database is on a remote server, input the db host and db port as appropriate. We called our database or config. Our username is user1, and our password was password1. Okay, it's also advisable to change the app URL. Okay, please do set up an FQDN for your server in advance of the process. Okay. Um, the next few we can just copy and paste, right? And I will tell you what they are. So I'm just going to clear the screen and we're going to copy and paste. This installs all of the PHP dependencies for Laravel, the framework in which our config is built. You don't need to know the technicalities of it, but this is an important step. The next one sets up Apache, your web server, uh, configures it correctly. Um, so that it will obviously serve the or config uh, interface to you. And the next one is supervisor, which is the engine, which is our queue manager engine. You do want to see this uh, when, you, when you run this script. You really don't want to see anything other than this. And this applies to Ubuntu and CentOS, RHEL, uh, Rocky derivatives, okay? Perfect, that's nearly everything done. Uh, the last thing we want to do is PHP Artisan. Well, it's not the last thing. There's a couple of more things, but PHP Artisan install. So I'm going to do a clear again. This should only take a moment. Generates encryption keys, uh, sets up the database, uh, generates uh, OAuth keys, and then clears out the application cache. And it asks a question if we want to add a cron entry for task scheduling, and the answer is yes, we do. And if you want to ver verify that the cron entry has been added, which is essential, uh, cron tab minus L and it's there. Perfect. That's exactly what we want to see. Okay. One or two more steps. Now we ask that you update the Apache configuration file with your S with your FQDN specifically. So where it says your server name, uh, put in your FQDN specifically and save that colon WQ for non-Vim users, Nano, I, I'm not a Nano user, so I don't know what it is for Nano. Uh, there's a slightly different file for Ubuntu. And as I said here in the docs, it says update server name to match your server's domain name, FQDN, okay? Your server at your domain.com. And then uh, restart Apache. We didn't change it, so I'm not gonna restart Apache. Um, and then the final, final thing is to reset the cache and permissions, okay? So CD into the directory, set the permissions you can see it's different for centos rel versus uh, ubuntu and once that's done we should be good so we're going to open up a new tab to the ip address of the server we're going to log in it with admin at domain.com and password of admin let me just grab the ip address which is here and then do this perfect we have an interface, a login page, minutedomain.com, an admin. That is excellent. Now, I'll go full screen, and I'm just going to quickly show you one or two things to look for. So we've got our details, Rocky2, our server name, our public IP address, our local IP address. Now, this is a Linode box, so they apply the public IP address direct to the box. It'll probably be different for you guys. Uh, PHP 8.2.10, lovely, Laravel 10.22, lovely. Th this is right up to date software, right? Now. There's no legacy tech debt software here, okay? Uh, latest Redis um, and uh, the appropriate MySQL MariaDB version. I will also check the queue manager. We do different videos on the queue manager. This needs to be active, okay? This has to be active for our config to function properly. If it's not, you need to let us know. Okay, or recheck your steps. So that's it. Um, we are up and running. Uh, I will do deeper videos um, in the next week or so on Orconfig v6 core. Uh, well, I might do one on Ubuntu next, um, but uh, check back in, log into the um, GitHub page, go to the repository, and if you have any problems, log an issue. And, and you know, we, we get back here, right? We are responsive on the issues. 
um, page. So uh, thanks for joining. Thanks a lot.